mother-to-child HIV infections are most common in Nairobi's low-income neighborhoods. This NGO sees HIV-positive women daily, their babies often infected during breastfeeding. A nutritionist reminds patients how to avoid transmission. Now, mm. if you believe it is your faith, <laughs> yeah. Your faith plus your medication. Yeah. An HIV-positive status is still a taboo here, and it can lead to exclusion from society. Some women opt out of taking medicine to avoid suspicion. Education, education, education for the young people is key on prevention of HIV to the children once they get pregnant. In the countryside three hours outside of Nairobi, a village hosts orphans whose parents died of AIDS. Some are HIV positive. Despite free health care, 4,000 minors in Kenya died of the virus in 2018. Here, they have easy access to treatment. When you stay with peers, sometimes you don't want to expose yourself. You want to stay taking your medicine alone. You don't want to show everybody that you are taking medicine. To me, I think uh, being in this place is the best one because you are all treated well, you are treated equally. Kenya invests hundreds of millions of euros every year to fight the epidemic. Since 2010, child infections have decreased by 41%. But much remains to be done, according to this researcher. Kenya has a reduction of stigma as one of the strategic objectives. But we are still seeing a lot of stigma, both from the public, but also from service providers, surprisingly. Experts say the priority is for all pregnant women, even those outside the health system, to be tested in order to avoid the risk of transmitting AIDS to their children.